Tesla's battery prices keep rising. EVs lose nearly half their range in cold weather. And while most people are still waiting 45 minutes at charging stations, Mazda quietly dropped a rotary-powered hybrid that refuels in under three. And it might cost $10,000 less to own over five years compared to a Model Y. Let's rewind and see how this forgotten engine is suddenly making a comeback and shaking up the EV industry. To understand how we got here, let's go back to Mazda's roots. Mazda, born in Hiroshima in 1920, wasn't even making cars at first. They were producing cork products, yes, the stuff wine stoppers are made of, before shifting into engineering and automotive design. So the same company that now wants to outsmart Tesla once made bobble plugs. We all start somewhere. They started with cork, literal cork. But fast forward to 1967 and they shocked the world by dropping a weird new engine into a car called the Cosmo Sport. It wasn't like anything else. No pistons, no valves, just a spinning triangle in a peanut-shaped housing. That's the rotary engine. Think of it as an engine that spins smoothly rather than punches up and down like a piston engine, kind of like comparing a spinning top to a jackhammer. And it made Mazda famous. Then came the golden era. Cars like the RX-7 and RX-8 became legends. Lightweight, high revving, smooth as silk. But they had one massive flaw. They burned fuel like crazy and couldn't keep up with tightening emission standards. Eventually, Mazda gave up. The rotary was dead, funeral held, eulogies read, triangle-shaped coffins, and all. Or so we thought. Mazda's engineers didn't forget the rotary. They just went back to the lab. For years, they tested new seals, better combustion control, and modern emission systems. And in 2023, they brought it back, not as a main engine, but as a range extender and a plug-in hybrid. Meet the MX-30R EV. It's a plug-in hybrid vehicle that uses a small battery and a gasoline-powered rotary engine to extend driving range without relying only on electric charging stations. Here's where things take a turn. Instead of using the rotary engine to drive the wheels, Mazda uses it to recharge a small 17.8 kilowatt hour battery. That's it. All the wheels ever feel is electric power. But when the battery runs low, the rotary kicks on efficiently and keeps you going, like a caffeinated intern who jumps in to keep the project alive at 3 a.m. So why does this matter? Let's compare. A Tesla Model 3 has a 60 plus kilowatt hour battery. The MX-30 REV's battery is barely a third of that. But that means it's lighter, cheaper to replace, and puts way less strain on the grid. And thanks to the gas-powered range extender, you're not stuck searching for a charger when the battery dies. You just keep driving. Now let's talk cost. On average, driving a Tesla Model 3 costs about $4.50 in electricity per 100 miles. A gas-powered Honda Civic costs about $12. The MX-30 REV, right in the middle, roughly $7.50 using gasoline to run the range extender. And if you charge it at home, that cost drops dramatically. But it gets crazier. Zero to 60, the MX-30 REV hits it in around 9.1 seconds. That's slower than the Model 3, 5.8, sure but it's quicker than your average Prius, and for most people, it's more than enough to zip onto the highway. Next, let's look at long-term value. EVs like the first-gen Nissan LEAF, they've dropped in price like a rock, mostly because of battery degradation. But Mazda's using a small, low-stress battery that's much cheaper to replace. Combine that with Mazda's solid reputation for reliability, and this hybrid might actually hold value better long-term than early EVs. Still not convinced? Let's talk charging networks. If you own a Tesla, you're tied to superchargers, Tesla's exclusive high-speed charging stations. If you're in a remote town with one level two charger, that's a medium speed public charger, already taken by a guy playing Candy Crush in his Bolt, you're stuck. But the MX-30 REV, it refuels at any regular gas station in under three minutes. You're back on the road before the EV guy even finds the Wi-Fi password to keep binging his show. Mazda's whole play is simple. Don't replace the EV, outsmart it. And the innovation doesn't stop there. Mazda has filed patents for all kinds of wild rotary tech. Multi-fuel designs that can run on ethanol, like corn-based fuel, hydrogen, a clean burning gas, even kerosene, jet fuel. They're working on thermally insulated combustion chambers, which help improve fuel efficiency by trapping more heat, and variable displacement rotary engines, which can adjust power output on the fly. That means a single rotary unit might one day power everything, from sports cars to drones. Which brings us to the fun part. What if Mazda dropped a rotary hybrid into the Miata, or brought back the RX-9 with electric torque and rotary range? Lightweight, analog handling, paired with instant electric response and infinite range. 
it would be the ultimate driver's car. EVs just couldn't touch it. Elon Musk might actually lose sleep, and not just from tweeting at 3 a.m. Now, let's not forget the past. All those other range extender hybrids that failed, BMW tried it with the i3 Rex, Chevy tried it with the Volt, Fisker Karma gave it a shot too, all of them flopped. So what makes Mazda different? Because they solved the core issues. The i3 had a motorcycle engine. The Volt was too heavy. The Karma looked great, but was unreliable and overpriced. Mazda, they went ultra light, ultra compact, and purpose-built the rotary to be just a battery charger, nothing more. No mechanical link to the wheels, no complexity. And that's the genius. This setup is also super battery friendly. Big EV batteries degrade fast, especially with fast charging. Smaller batteries like Mazda's, they last longer, cost less, and put way less pressure on lithium supply chains. Let's switch gears to weather. In cold weather, EVs can lose up to 40% of their range. Mazda's rotary engine doesn't care. Gasoline still works at negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're in Minnesota in January, this car might be the only one that gets you home. And what about infrastructure? Let's say you live in a rural area or you rent and can't install a home charger. You're not buying a Tesla. But with the MX-30 REV, you can plug it in when you can or just fill up with gas and go. That's massive. Even the insurance world is taking notice. In many countries, plug-in hybrids still qualify for green vehicle incentives. You can get tax breaks, lower toll fees, even HOV access. All the perks of an EV without the infrastructure hassle. Now, let's go even deeper into the numbers. Replacing a Tesla battery outside of warranty, that can cost over $10,000. Replacing Mazda's smaller battery pack, closer to $3,000, if it's ever even needed. That's a game changer for long-term ownership. Here's another win. While a Tesla's full battery recharge might take 30 to 45 minutes at a supercharger, Mazda's plug-in recharge on a level two home charger takes just under 2.5 hours. Not bad for topping up while you sleep. Rotary engines bring another advantage, size. They're incredibly compact. That means Mazda can use the freed up space for more storage, better cabin design, or lighter weight overall. Every pound saved improves acceleration and fuel economy. Let's stack it up against the competition. Compared to something like the Toyota RAV4 Prime, Mazda's MX-30 REV has a more affordable starting price, weighs less, and offers simpler tech under the hood. Less to break, less to fix. And there's more. Most EVs suffer reduced performance with age due to battery fatigue. Mazda's hybrid strategy ensures consistent torque delivery, whether the battery is full or the engine is charging it on the go. In real-world driving, the MX-30 REV delivers 35 to 40 miles per gallon when the rotary is running. That's better than a gas-only CRV or a RAV4, and right in the ballpark with a Prius. But with all the electric city driving capability, the Prius doesn't offer. Let's talk ownership costs. Tesla Model Y, around 54,000 when you factor in charging, insurance, maintenance, and depreciation. Mazda's MX-30 REV, closer to 41,000. That's 13 in savings you could use for, I don't know, not car stuff. And then there's battery size. Mazda's using a 17.8 kilowatt hour pack. A kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. Think of it like how much juice the battery can hold. For comparison, most EVs have battery packs around 60 to 100 kilowatt hour, which means Mazda's is much smaller and more cost efficient. Hyundai Ioniq 5, 77.4 kilowatt hour. So you've got a quarter the lithium, way less rare earth material, and a much easier path to recycling and lower replacement cost. Let's revisit cold weather, because it's a real issue. Tesla's range drops like your phone battery in a snowstorm, up to 40%. But the MX-30 REV keeps humming. That backup engine doesn't care about the weather. And guess what? Insurance companies often slap EVs with high premiums because of expensive battery repairs. But the MX-30 REV often qualifies for EV tax breaks and comes with lower premiums. Let's wrap it up with some final comparisons. Buckle up, spreadsheet warriors, this part's for you. Compared to traditional plug-in hybrids like the Prius Prime or Kia Niro PHEV, the MX-30 REV has fewer moving parts and no mechanical connection between engine and wheels. That means smoother operation, fewer potential failure points, and potentially lower maintenance bills long-term. Charging cost versus refueling? A home EV charge may cost $8 to $10, while gas fill-ups for the MX-30 REV can range from $30 $40. But when the rotary engine only kicks in occasionally, that cost spreads out. And if public fast chargers spike electricity prices, the hybrid approach becomes even more attractive.
Now think about city driving. In urban environments where EVs are ideal, but range suffers with heavy stop and go traffic, the MX-30 REV's rotary engine keeps the battery topped up. That's a major advantage over compact EVs like the Nissan LEAF or Mini Cooper SE that quickly deplete range in city congestion. And let's hit the cold climates one last time, because this matters. Unlike most EVs that suffer serious range drop in freezing weather, the MX-30 REV's rotary generator ensures consistent performance. It's ready whether you're in Arizona or Alaska. Finally, let's talk about what happens down the line. EVs often lose 40 to 50% of their value in five years due to battery aging. But hybrids like the MX-30 REV are expected to fare better, especially since the battery endures less wear and is much cheaper to replace. So where does this leave us? Mazda isn't trying to dominate the EV space. They're trying to hack it. They're saying, what if we don't need giant batteries? What if we don't need fast chargers everywhere? What if a 60-year-old design, reborn, can make EVs better? And if you ask us, that's the most Mazda thing ever. This isn't about nostalgia, it's about balance. A car that drives like an EV, recharges like a gas car, and bridges the gap while everyone else argues over lithium mining and supercharger access. Will it work? Time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the rotary is back, and it might just be the smartest car engine of the decade.